Hi family, it's your girl attorney Brunel Donald Che. We are going to um, do a scripture reading today of John 13 verses 1 through 30 and it reads, Now before the feast of Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of the world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. During supper, when the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going back to God, rose from supper. He laid aside his outer garments and taking the towel, tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? And Jesus answered him, What I'm doing you do not understand now, but afterward you will understand. Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, the one who has bathed does not need to wash except for his feet, but is completely clean. And you are clean, but not every one of you. For he knew who would betray him. That was why he said, not all of you are clean. When he had washed their feet and put on the, his outer garments and resumed his place, he said to them, do you understand what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right for so am I. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should do just as I have done to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. I am not speaking of all of you. I know whom I have chosen, but the scripture will be fulfilled. He who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. I'm telling you this now before it takes place, that when it does take place, you may believe that I am he. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. After saying these things, we're on verse 21. Jesus was troubled in his spirit and, and, and testified, truly, truly, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he spoke. One of his disciples whom Jesus loved was reclining at the table at Jesus' side. So Pete, Simon Peter mo motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So the, disciple learned, so the disciple leaned back against Jesus and said to him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, it is he to whom I will give this morsel of bread when I have dipped it. So when he had dipped the morsel, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. Then after he had taken the morsel, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, what are you going to do? What you are going to do do it quickly. Jesus said to him, what you are going to do, do it quickly. Now, no one at the table knew why he said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the money bag, Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the feast or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the morsel of bread, he immediately went out and it was night. It's not easy to know that a person feet that you washed, a person that you fed, a person that you taught, a person that you poured your time, your efforts, your love into will betray you. And you still wash their feet and you still feed them and you still give them something to drink. You still give them that loan or still make sure they're straight. Jesus loved unconditionally. He loved even those who would we would think or say is unlovable, that they're unlovable. He loved them anyway, that we would say are unlovable. He washed the feet of someone that he knew would betray him. He fed him. 
he, he loved on him. He fed him spiritually. He fed him physically. And so it's something to think about, you know, people can slight us, offend us, make us angry, do something disrespectful, and we'll hold it to the grave in the ground, not feed them, not help them, not give them a loan. If we see them on the ground uh, in distress, we will step over them and keep going. Not Jesus. He would give CPR. He would give aid and render all he could to save the life of the person that he knew would hurt him and betray him. That's the God we serve. That's the king, the king's child, the son of God that we serve. And so, you know, it's 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 um something, you know, you never really think about that moment, you know, that, that knowing that he was grieved, we already knew Jesus was upset because the scripture said that he was upset and that his spirit was grieved, but being upset, being his spirit grieved, um, knowing that he was going to be betrayed, knowing that the person's feet he washed, the person he fed spiritually and mentally and every single way was going to betray him did not stop Jesus from doing, um, loving his neighbor. It did not stop him from doing what was needed in order to secure and take care of Judas and to make him feel to be a part of the disciples, even though he was. But he did not um, do anything to um, make it seem like because Judas was going to betray him that he was any different than the other disciples. Jesus is an amazing, not only um, chief priest in heaven for us, but he is. And he was an amazing human being. And I'm so grateful that um, when I think to hold on to things, when I think to, you know, have slights against people, offenses, or, you know, remember things that were done. I remember the way that Jesus um, helped Judas, loved upon Judas, even knowing that he would betray him. It is with that that I was able to forgive the man that murdered my mother. That Jesus did it. He, he forgave the person. He fed the person. He gave spiritual guidance and, and poured himself into a person that essentially led to his death. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless America. Thank you so much for joining me on this uh, Good Friday as we um, celebrate the sacrifice of Christ today. Not only remember the sacrifices on the cross, but remember the sacrifices he made while he walked this earth. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. Bye for now.